I'm Rick Lees, Caddy Tech Support. Welcome to another edition of Caddy TV. This episode we're going to talk about uh, a, a unique solution to solving the problem of uh, where you need to put a trapeze where a uh, trapeze already exists. Um, as many of you know, if you've got to do that, typically you're going to have to take the old trapeze all the way down, which means you've got to support the existing product somehow, uh, notch the end of the strut. It's just ugly. So I'm going to show you how to do it real quickly with a, a new caddy product and some traditional caddy uh, SN nuts. This is a TSR-1220. It's got a special notch on the end to allow retrofit going up in between uh, existing threaded rods. So I have some SN nuts set at the height where I want it to be. All I do is slide the product in, lift it up, snap the locking clip in place so it doesn't collapse, take another uh, SN type nut, this is the SNSW version, spin it up there, another one on the other side, tighten it down, uh, load rating is, is 20, 200 to 300 pounds depending on how uh, wide apart you've got it set, um, 25 per box, keep a box on your truck because you know a little box is not taking up nearly as much, much space as traditional strut. It's a standard strut profile, so all the standard strut hardware, uh, conduit, strut straps, etc., fit with this product. Another quick solution for the uh, in situ trapeze would be our ISP, ISSPK, which is a kit that includes two of these products and four of our SN37 nuts. Uh, it's a great, quick, and easy solution. Just measures the space between your, your threaded rods. Cut a piece of strut one inch shorter, install the, the two ISSPK fittings on the end, drop it in place, take your SN nuts, spin them down in place, and you're good to go. This is another item that, you know, if I was a service contractor, these would be on my, my truck every job I go out to. ISSPK.